Do you remember to look here? Not here. Here. No worries. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. I'm back with another video. Um, I thought I was going to do the Galaxy video today, but that's going to be tomorrow because I accidentally edited this one first and I haven't got around to doing the Galaxy one just yet. So, in today's video, I am going to be doing a set of crystal, not really geode, but crystal. Yeah, I'll show you. Anyway, let's look. Get into the video. To the video. To the salon. It's not really, it's a video. Shut up, Natch. You watch, you watch TikTok. Okay, here we go. Okay, so on the screen, I have got my Alina hand. I love her so much. Um, I'll tell you more about her in a minute. Um, these decals are, I don't know what they're called. It's normally on the back, but I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, excuse the mess everywhere. Everywhere's a mess. Um, I'm also using Kirsty Meekins gel polishes. I've got white out. Hang on, I can't remember the other colours. I think I've got Dina. Because I always want to say dinner, 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 Batman, but it's not, it's Dina. And no filter. No filter's a really gorgeous nude. Actually, Dina's really pretty as well. I really like these colours a lot. Okay. This was just a I'm gonna give it a go, and if it doesn't turn out, I'm still gonna upload it anyway video. I've got some water for the decal. And I'm using I've sped it up. Oh, sorry, you can't see when I do that. I've sped it up. <laughs> I've sped it up because otherwise it's just going to take ages. And this is another of the salon viable sets that I'm going to be doing this week. Because I thought this week we could concentrate more on salon viable nails. Because some of you have often asked for more active length nails instead of like longer ones that not many people have. Actually probably more people have them than I realise. I just, I rather active length nails, but I love doing designs on longer nails because it's, you just got a, like a, you've got a longer canvas to play with. <laughs> uh, so on, make sure you cap your free edge and um, yeah. And then the other, the other two nails, so the middle finger and the pinky is going to be no filter. There we go. <laughs> I forgot. So again, just make sure you're careful around your side walls. Try not to get it on the skin because if you make contact with skin with uncured product, then you can increase your chances of getting an allergic reaction. That's what I'm gonna say, because I can't think of anything. Well, it's true, you do, you, you, yeah. And it doesn't matter what brand of product it is, if you if you keep getting uncured product on skin, then you're going to end up at some point potentially with a with an allergic reaction or some kind of I don't know. That's what they say anyway. So don't do it. <laughs> okay, this is uh, the second coat that I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and do second coat on all the nails, and I've not shown it because. Just takes so bloody long so now i'm going to cut out a couple of the decals that i want to use i really like the little tiny blue ones because i'm doing quite short nails but i went with the purpley plummy color because i thought they'd go better with the the nude and the white and i also grabbed another pink out didn't i so what i do is i like to just cut out as much of the excess around the decal as possible and then using i'm going to put it on using my stamper you don't have to use a stamper I, ever since i found out about this method i was like what why have i not been doing that so i just go over my stamper with some sellotape to get off any fluff or glitter or anything that might be on there that i don't want on the nail and then using a, a just a, a an old brush i'm going to put some water not a lot just like a couple of I don't know, maybe, maybe four little dollops on the back of that decal. And then that's going to soak in to the backing of the decal. And then eventually, after about no more than 25 seconds, because this I haven't sped this up. So this is all in real time. What's going to happen is that backing is just going to slide off that stamper like this. She's going to do it. She's going to do it. There we go it just slides off and then we've got that little crystal 
on the stamper ready to stamp onto anel and if you use a stamper that's got a clear barrel you can see through the barrel of it you're able to work out roughly where you want it it's more easy than putting it with a stamper that hasn't got a clear barrel do you know what, do you know what i mean so i'm going to put another one on the index finger there we go and we've got two crystals it's a good start right i was going to do a french on these two but it didn't uh, in the end, because I put the crystal decals on slightly wonky, right, I did, I didn't mean to, but I did. What I thought I'd do was I'd just make some wonky lines like that underneath the decal. Oh, hang on, I've paused it. There we go. Just put some wonky lines underneath the, the decal. Because look, if I do my French on this one, there's going to be a gap between the crystal and and the actual french bit there was a there was a hair and i didn't want that i wanted the gel polish to butt right up to that crystal the bottom of the crystal i don't know why it's just what i wanted to do so it kind of ends up looking like a very wonky french because i was like uh i didn't i didn't like the gap and then i was like right we're gonna curve this down a bit and then I do go back to it. Look here. I was like, right, we'll swoop this bit up a little bit and curve it up around there. Uh, but it just looks like I can't do a French. I'm bothered. A little bit, but nah, not really. So then I'm going to do the same thing on the other now, which wasn't as bad, but I wanted it to look a little bit. But I still don't think I will. But I tried to make that one a little bit more pronounced. I've got my hair down today. Curls. Yes. There we go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. And then I'm going to go over with a, another coat because it had... Look, it, the, the edges needed doing because I didn't do that very well. What she's trying to say is she didn't cap them because she's a plonker. So I'm going to do it again. And then by this point, I was thinking, hang on, look, I've put two coats of white. I'm putting two coats of Dina. Dina, Dina. And, uh, and then I'm going to have to top coat. And then I end up deciding to put in another coat of, uh, a different, a coat of confetti on, which is like a glitter gel polish. So I was, at this point, I was getting concerned that the, the, the free edge is going to start to be quite thick. So I'll, tell, I'll show you what I do in a minute. So that I'm just, just going over this, making sure that I cap the edge this time. Because you've got to do that. And then that's going to go with the lamp. Kirsty Meekins Gel Polishes Cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. I do like a 30 second cure. Um, anything over 30 and it's like, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> it's just because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lazy. I just like it. I'm impatient. That's the word. Impatient. So this is the confetti gel polish. It's really cute. And it's got like little bits of tinsel and matte glitter in it and stuff. It's, it's quite cute. And I thought, do you know what? We're going to add it. We're going to add it in. Let's just do it. Do it in Huggies. So I'm going to put a little bit on my palette because I want to put a little bit underneath the crystal decals as well. But the crystal decals, I don't know if I said... So I'm going to tell you right now, the crystal decals are from Nail Sugar. Um, Karen has got lots of other ones as well. They are, I don't know what I was going to say then. You can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. She has only just restocked these. So if you want these, they are back in stock right now. So uh, I don't know, my timing on doing these was perfect. It's weird. It's that we've been doing things lately, me and Karen. Like I've been messaging her. And it's like we've been in sync. Because I said, have you discontinued any glitters lately? And she was like, that's so weird. I've just taken a photo of glitters that I've discontinued for you. Weird, right? Okay, this is uh, Madam Glam's silver gel paint. Because I don't have any. Kirsty Meekin doesn't have any silver gel paint. So we're going to use Madam Glam's. You can get 30% off Madam Glam using my code NUTMUG30. Also, they're having a 50% off event very, very soon. I'm going to post a video about that. Or a, an image. But I do need to do a video about, yeah. <sighs> really excited okay so what i thought i'd do was as well that oh by the way the gel paint needs a 60 second cure i'm just adding some little stars using dina so just put a blob on and then using a detailer brush just bring the product up 
down and then a little bit side to side when you do this don't add more product to your brush otherwise it'll end up looking bulky and big so and i'm just gonna add a couple of dots like starry dots or whatever you want to call them and that's gonna go in the lamp and then right i'm using the base coat i know you're probably thinking why well i want to go over the glitter nail i mean it lays pretty flat anyway it's not like it's but yeah i i want to go over this nail and um i'm hoping that the base coat just sort of what's the word levels it out a bit more you know it stops any bumpy bit you know when you top coat and you have bumpy bits that's just the worst and then i thought i'd put it over i know another layer on these nails like what am i thinking i thought i'd put it over these nails again just to kind of level out the back of the nail and the free edge of the nail Do you know i don't know i don't know um and then i yeah i pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds not 60 and do you know what if you want right i'm gonna go over now with the glossy top coat um i'm gonna do this on all of the nails apart from that middle finger because i want to put some crystals on that so now i've done that base coat and i've gone over with the top coat hopefully that should be nice and smooth now if you want to you don't have to do the base coat you can go over with top coat if it's bumpy give it a buff and then go over it again doesn't matter which way you want to do it it's horses for courses personal preference and all that there's a little bit of fluff there we don't want that and then i will bung this in the oven no i won't i'll bung it i'll bung it in the lamp and then i'm going to use the matte top coat <clears throat> for this one because when i do crystals if i put crystals on nails i like to put ouch oh that hurt my elbow i like to put crystals on a matte a matte surface if you do it on a um, you can you can put the crystals onto the tacky layer of gel polish and then you can top coat around them using a glossy top coat if you want to use glossy or you can buff where you if you've already top coated with a glossy top coat you can buff the area where you want to put the um the crystals but i don't like to do that because if you miss any bits you've got scratches in the do you know what i mean i'm like well fussy so i'm putting a little bit of now can we crystal totalist gem glue and on top of that oh i just knocked my thingy i'm gonna put a little this is a swarovski diamond in the color i think it was light pink i don't know i i've, I've decided there's no point me hanging on to these um, so I'm kind of using up my Swarovski crystals because they're not selling them anymore to people like us. We can't get Swarovski elements, which is their little crystals for their light. We can't get those anymore. So I'm thinking, well, I might as well just use them up. So I've just thought we'll just stick one on caviar bead at the top and the bottom, a silver one to go with the gel paint. And that's it. Um, I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I will leave Kirsty's uh, website down in the description box. So you can go and find her gel polishes. Um, yeah. That's about it, really. I don't know why I, I put another little clip here of the... I don't know why I done it, but I did. Probably so I can waffle a bit more. I don't know. Anyway, right. Tomorrow, I promise, will be the Galaxy set. Tomorrow, I really like the Galaxy set. Yeah. Oh, and there's a discount code, not a discount code, uh, a referral link for Alina, Alina, Alina Hand if you want to buy one of those as well. You get $5, I get $5 if you use it. It's perfect. Yeah, anyway, gonna go. Love you all lots. And I'll see you tomorrow.